Hello, my friend. Hopefully that you are doing great. So in this lesson, I want to say you how to extend, um, I mean, in her risk from robot capability type interface shear, and then we will try to have uh, a new interface that is inherited from this interface to have some some more custom uh, design capability parameter. Because as you still remember that, uh, let me try to go back here. I already shared you something like if you put something at a key value here, so you may end up with a mid text. For example, you want to put something like black from your cell as a string. So that's why I used mobile capability here and try to specify the platform name from it here. So, but because we are missing something related to the app package and the app activity, so that's why I want to create a new uh, interface that will be inherited from this interface to have the new custom parameter, okay? So now you can create under, under the YouTube folder here, you can create a new Java class file with the name uh, mobile capability type extended. And now uh, it's not class, just be interface, okay? And I want to extend the mobile capability type here. Then I will try to have some default string like the uh, app, uh, not the, yeah, the app package equal and the app uh, activity activity equal so this would be uh, app package and this would be app activity right so now in the appium driver extended here the YouTube class here I want to try to replace by using the real one okay so I will use the type extended here control space you see and then I check copy here base here, base here. And now here I want to replace as well to do the app package. Thus, app package. And then I want to replace here as well to have the app activity, right? App activity here, I just enter. So now we just customize every web here and that's view help us to avoid any mistakes by type or something like that, right? And I just want to add uh, a new thing. I remember that's command, new command timeout. So basically this one will help, uh, will help us to have something like Appium server will assume after a certain of, of time, if we don't send any new command, it will assume that we end the session and try to close the session, okay? So it should be, uh, I think should be 120 seconds should be good enough. Okay, I just add one more thing here. So now I just wanna run the click on element script before to make sure that everything works well, okay? So before you run, you need to make sure that you start the FPM server on the block 20, uh, 4723, okay? So now you click on the run button here. Open the console lock here, open the uh, device screen to make sure that we can see what is going on. So you see the design capability is now sent into uh, the Appium server and it seems everything is correct. And the Appium server is now trying to unlock the device screen and try to launch the application, click on the login button. Yeah, everything is now okay. So, okay, so I just wanna summarize a little. So you create a new interface, okay? With the name mobile capability extension, or you can name anything, but my suggestion that you put something like extensions, uh, extend this because we, we will extend something from, uh, from the mobile capability here. So we will put something like app practice and app activity here. We put some 
a static string here. And now where we need to view it, we just try to replace by using mobile capability and then we try to boot the Dolby default string here, okay? And I just wanna ask one more thing that's related to, to the new command timeout because I wanna tell to IBM server that after one, uh, after two minutes, if the client uh, doesn't send anything else, that means IBM server can assume that I stop the testing and then uh, release the session correctly, okay? So try to have that. And bye for now, see you in the next lesson.